The Pikeville Panthers are two years removed from a class single A state football championship. This time last year in 2017, the Panthers really didn't know what to expect as the Panthers were very young at every position. Also factoring in one of the toughest schedules in class 1A of any program, last season was looking to be a down year. It was rocky at the beginning as the Panthers started out the gates with a record of one of four. However, Pikeville rebounded in midseason and overachieved as they advanced all the way to the state semifinal game as they lost in heartbreaking style off of a walk-off field goal to the Rams of Raceland High School. Well, we know that was a tough loss. And, you know, you look at it throughout the season, just ups and downs. We started off one and four. Nobody thought we would would get that far and then you know our kids just kept believing in themselves getting that far and, and coming up as short as we did the way we did I think left uh, left a little sting that maybe pushed him some in the in the weight room and in the off season and, and in this uh, preseason as well. It was it was very bittersweet like it was horrible as that game but then again like that's what motivated us this whole off season just in the weight room on the field anytime we were doing any kind of work for for this upcoming season that was in our that was in the back of our heads you know we potentials never won a ball game and you know, our guys know that we got to show up and work each day and and get better everybody on the team is giving in a lot of hard work i mean just now we just now finished running hills and the coaches had us run five we all wanted the senior stepped up we all wanted to run one more just because we know what it's going to take to get to to become state champs with nearly the entire team returning from one season ago the panthers are looking to contend for a state championship. Well, I think you know at Pikeville the expectations are always high. Our community expects uh, a lot out of these boys. Our school does, and, and coaching staff, and uh, and these boys expect a lot out of themselves. So we're, we're uh, you know excited to get the season started and expect to you know we've always got a tough beginning of the schedule, and we feel like that helps prepare us for the uh, the playoffs and the district schedule. So uh, so we're just, we're just looking forward to the beginning of the season, be able to put the pads on and go after it just a little bit. I think everybody's expectations are to win state. I don't think we're going to settle for anything less than that. Last year we came up short. We know what this feels like, so we've got to get back to further than we did last year. Being a part of the Panther football program goes along with it, wearing the school pride across your chest and also playing for your community. It's, it's like no other around. Um, you know, and I know people have a hard time believing that, but you know, being a single A school and being in a small community, I think uh, is just something that I, th I wish everybody could experience. The uh, the pride that our community has in our school, um, you know, and, and just the relationship we have with people in the community, the police department, the city fire department, I think is unique uh, to a town like Pikeville, and uh, and I'm extremely blessed to to call this home. It's unbelievable. Everybody, the support the community gives, I mean, it's. It's awesome.